I'm Andrea Jacques, founder and head coach at KyosakeCoaching.com. And I'm Brian Blocka, lead consultant at our sister on KyosakeConsulting.com. For over a decade, our company has worked with clients worldwide, helping them achieve clarity, focus, and the skills they need to succeed. Whether large company, executive team, VIP, entrepreneur, or the person next door, we're proud of the business and life coaching we offer. And judging by our fiercely loyal clients, they're pretty enamored with us too. But long before we can help you achieve your coaching victories and overcome those mental blocks, and even before you happily sign up for our coaching package, there's one question I've heard again and again. What's the difference between a good coach and a bad coach? Well, beyond naming names, after all, I do have some built-in bias here. The number one piece of advice I can give you is to make sure you're actually dealing with a coach. A good coach works from the assumption that each person has all the answers they need within them. A good coach helps you pull from within yourself or your team the direction and resolve you need to succeed by asking the right questions. You can think of us like a GPS system for the human spirit or a compass sensitive to the true north of your real purpose. That's what makes us good at what we do. If your prospective coach is doing something other than helping you to connect with what is true for you by asking you questions that inspire insight and provide perspective, say, telling you what to do, not really listening, or worse, judging you or your choices is wrong, that's not really coaching. That's more like consulting. Arguably bad consulting. No argument from me. Now, there's a reason terminology has gotten blurry in recent years. Because good coaching is such a sought-after commodity, many traditional consultants have simply rebranded themselves as coaches, jumping into the market on the trendy term bandwagon without really knowing, much less sticking to, the coach credo. They still tell you what to do. They just now call themselves a coach while they're telling you. Exactly. In contrast, a consultant and the good ones are worth their weight in gold provides expert, experienced advice, and sometimes hands-on implementation to get the job done. We, in essence, bring to the table the skills, tools, systems, and resources you don't have or don't have enough of to make projects a reality. So in summary, a coach helps you find the answers and direction from within. And a consultant provides the answers for you, possibly even rolling up their sleeves to do the work. Good coaches are great resources when introspection is required to identify meaningful goals and achieve objectives. For example, career transition, purposeful retirement, reigniting team performance, finding life-work balance, or determining long-term business strategies. That's the type of coaching work I do. Consultants are invaluable when you have projects with clear constraints such as budget, time, or quality objectives, and self-introspection is not required to do the job. For example, you might need our consulting team to do an analysis of your competition, or provide marketing training, copywriting, or web design project management. Clearly, both are very important. And they're very different, too. At Kyose, we recognize the importance of great coaching and great consulting and realize you shouldn't have to decide which you need. You should just have both. It's what we call integrated and transferable service. And it's always included free with every coaching package you have. So if you or your team needs to find direction, Kyose Coaching is where you need to go first. Or if your team is clear on direction but needs something a little more hands-on, our sister arm, KSA Consulting, is already on standby. By compartmentalizing our two teams as though they were two separate companies and sharing information between them only on a need-to-know basis, you get the wonderful experience of two top-tier teams working to make one great you. After all, happiness is knowing where you want to go and having the tools, systems, training, and support to get you there. KSA. Your Your potential potential realized. realized.